right? And then that is just to be a force vibration. And that means, yes, the vibration of vibration of a body and that means it's of an external force. And examples for force vibration are air compressors, IC engines and machine tools. May have to be considered IC engine when external force which is being created in the particular uh, system or a particular engine. Uh, then the, the particular engine starts to vibrate then that is said to be force vibration. And there are types of force vibration, one is periodic forcing, second one impulsive forcing, and third one random forcing. Like uh, periodic forcing is nothing but the, the force which is being applied on a particular object throughout the nature. Right. And impulsive force is a sudden force which is being applied on the particular object. Random force is the force which is being uh, applied on the particular object randomly at any time. It may be depends upon the time dependent. There are types of damp force vibration, one is damp vibration and undamped vibration. When you consider damped vibration, you have to consider the uh, vibration of a particular object. When you consider undamped vibration, you only to consider the vibration of a particular object. Right. Next topic is about force vibration with harmonic forcing. Right. See, this is an example for harmonic forcing. When you consider a spring mass system, right, along with that, the uh, damper is attached with it. The damper, the function of damper is used to absorb the vibration which is being created in the spring when the load is applied on it. The mass is nothing but a load here, right, and this F indicates the force which is being applied on a particular object, right. And here the object is called spring, right, spring, and X is nothing but the deviation of a spring from the initial position to final position, right, and this is the force. Uh, force discrimination for this particular spring mass system, right, M, M is nothing but the mass of a particular object, K is nothing but spring, spring stiffness, and X is nothing but the displacement. Similarly, C is nothing but the damping uh, factor that is in a spring deflection and spring absorption value, vibration absorbing object, C that is nothing but a damper, X dot is nothing but the angular, angular, angular displacement, that is change of displacement with respect to social position. And F naught phenomenality is nothing but the force which is being applied on the particular spring mass system. An equation for the spring mass system is F is equal to F naught cos omega t. Right? F naught is nothing but the external force which is being applied on the particular spring mass system. Omega t is equal to the change of displacement with respect to motion and displacement. And you all, you all know that the equation for motion is m x double dot plus c x dot plus j f is equal to f naught cos omega. Right. And whereas Mx dot is nothing but the inertia force which is being created on the particular spring. Right. When you consider the spring mass system, when you apply a load on a particular spring, what will happen is the spring starts to deflate. Again, what will happen is it will begin this original position. That would, when it begins this original position, there will be some force. That force is nothing but your inertia force. Right. Damping force is the force uh, which is being created on the spring and it is being absorbed. So as a damper is used to absorb the vibration which is being created on the spring. K, K, K is nothing but your spring force. This way, obviously, when you apply the load on a particular object, the spring will start to deflect, right? And there will be some force that will be occurred on the particular object, right? Then that is a spring force. Then F naught cos omega is nothing but your external force which is being applied on the particular object. And, uh, right, uh, these are the formulas uh, for the harmonic forcing. The first formula is about the amplitude, right? Amplitude is nothing but has to do is amplitude is nothing but the frequency ratio of a vibrating system. Right. Then, then next is about the phase lag. Uh, this is formula for phase lag. And you have to calculate the magnification factor. Right. A formula is 1 by square root of 1 minus omega by omega and the whole square whole power square plus 2 epsilon omega by omega and the whole square. Next. You will have a formula of transfer of this so this is important to remember as well as the formula for transfer is nothing but foundation force which is the applied force. Right, foundation force is nothing but the force which is being applied on the particular object and a particular force which is being exerted in the particular object and the F naught is nothing but the force which is being applied on the particular object. Right, foundation force is nothing but your inertia force. And similar for angle of flag, for the transfer of the base angle is nothing but tan inverse of 2 epsilon omega by omega i n. Right. We will move on to the problem. See, this is the application of the problem. We consider the helical spring. Helical spring is fixed at one end and mass at the other end. Right? Now, so, uh, mass value is nothing but 10 kg and spring thickness is 10 m per mm. Decrease in amplitude. Right? So, the spring, what will happen is when the load is applied on a spring, the spring starts to deflect. It 
it will declare for four complete revolutions. It will declare for four complete revolutions, and that initial value will be one by ten. Yeah, that is nothing but your initial value of that deflection. Next periodic force on the mass in the vertical direction. This is nothing but applied force. It is going to apply on the particular spring mass system. That is that that force in terms of equation. That is nothing but F not cos omega t. You know the equation F is equal to F not cos omega t. Instead of that F not, it is what is the applied force value is nothing but one fifty given in the problem. And omega is your angular velocity given in the problem fifty t newton. And you have to find out the amplitude of force vibration. Similarly, amplitude value for resonance condition. Right? Resonance is nothing but the maximum frequency which is being applied on the particular spring mass system. In the spring mass system, in the Uh, spring will have a maximum vibrating mass, then that is supposed to be a resonance. Right? At that time, external force is equal to the applied force. And given data, sir, mass m is equal to 10 kg, and k is nothing but 10 newtons per m mass. Right? And f is nothing but f not cos omega t. This is equal to 150 cos omega t. Right? So you have to have taken from the given values. And x not by x ten is nothing but your 1 by 10, which I have. That you write this being given in the problem. So by x one by x ten is equal to x four x four. So you have x four something but four complete revolution. First you have to find out the omega i. That is nothing but your damper. Right. This square root of k by m. You know the formula which I have explained you in the pre presentation. So that you can draw the difference. This is equal to square root of k by m. Ten minus of two three ten divided by ten. Or if you want to write it in terms, that is one point six two ten percent. So you, you will be asking the question right. Yeah, that is nothing but ten. Right, ten means of two step values. So the equation becomes like this. And then plus and then this equal to ln of uh, x naught by x one. Here the ln of x naught by x four. Right, instead of that x one, you have to write the only four components. So x naught by x four, so one by four. That is four components. So one by four ln of x naught by x four. So the equation becomes ln is equal to x to e log of e five by five by six. That is your equation only. Then C C is equal to two m omega i m right, and when you substitute the value for m and omega i, you know the value for all this data. So when you substitute the value for every value, it becomes six three point four six zero seven per meter. Next, it's on C by C C. Okay, and then you know the value for C by C C that is formula is that the red square divided by four pi square plus z square. So when you substitute the value, it becomes point zero nine one. Omega is zero. Omega is just the formula. And the substitute value for the value is thirty one point four nine. You see here everything you know the values for every formula. You know the values that is being given in the formula. Direct substitution. So you don't need to do any calculations first. Right? First you have to calculate the amplitude. So amplitude for the k is f not f f zero divided by k. And you know the f zero by k is something that or sir the one minus omega by omega and the whole square plus whole square plus two is the omega by omega and the whole square. So when you substitute the value, your answer becomes. For amplitude is 0.08272 yeah, meter, and then you then amplitude resonance condition A by F not by K that is nothing but 1 by 2 epsilon. So then you will get in it becomes 5.483 that is A by F not by K. So when A becomes 0.08274 meter, right? So we have to do the problems. 